Hello, my name is Paul Priestley. Welcome to Paul Priestley Arts. Now today, this is the second in my series on using charcoal and chalk. Today we're going to be doing a landscape. We're going to have trees, we're going to have a river, a path, reflections in the water. We've got everything. So rather than hang about, let's make a start. Come on. OK, we're going to start with a piece of charcoal and a big chunk of white chalk. Now, to start with, we're just going to draw the tree very, very simply. So I'm just drawing a line down here, not pressing very hard with the charcoal at all. Uh, just do a couple of V shapes, you see, to create the branches. Another one here, look. Yeah, it's nice and easy, nice and slowly. Uh, you should be able to follow this, you see, nice V shape there. Another one line down there, create a very simple tree. Now we'll do a similar sort of thing on the other side here. We're going to draw just a couple of little lines, another little V shape here. Charcoal's not working quite well. There we go. And another line down there too. So we've got those basic shapes in. Now, what you've got to remember is everything is in context. So just something like that, very simply, will look like trees in the context of all the other trees. So it's not a problem. We're just going to make this look as though it's some sort of riverbank or something of that sort here. Here we're going to put the edge of the riverbank here. A couple of stones maybe blocking in this area here. There we go. Just the edge of the riverbank. Keep it quite loose. And below that then just suggest where the reflection is going to be. You see it's all quite simple. Remember reflections are vertically underneath the actual object itself. Now we're going to put in the background. Now the background is going to be full of bushes and trees and all sorts of undergrowth and so on. So you can afford to be quite rough with the way you draw with the charcoal. Look here, see I'm just blocking it in and blending, just rubbing it in but leaving some little bits to show. Those little lines above could be twigs, whatever, parts of bushes, who knows. Pressing on a little bit harder this time. Notice that as I do so, I'm going round and round in a sort of circular motion here. And when I shade this in, I'm going to leave some of the edges to be free. If you're not quite sure what I mean by edges, check out my video at the top there. It'll give you everything you need to know about outlines and edges. Do a similar sort of thing. We just keep building this up, you see. Adding a few lines here and there, blocking areas in nice and strongly, and then shading them in. Do you see the idea? So we get, we're getting lots of different depths of tone and line and shape. And in the context, even though it's just rough and it looks very rough, but in the context of trees, it will look like bushes. You see here, I'm just going round and I'm leaving the edges quite sharp, but some edges I'm blending. You see how you can build it up? Put a few little lines above there to make the twigs and such like branches and so on. Now you'll notice I'm working on the background first. You'll notice as I do this, have you noticed how the trees now stand out because they're against a darker background? So I'm blending this background in, but you don't want it too dark because we want to keep the darker tones for the foreground. So you see I'm just blending, blocking some of these areas in, and I'm going to do exactly the same as I've done before. I just go round and round in a circular sort of motion, almost like you're drawing clouds or bushes or trees similar sort of thing it's exactly the same just blend it round like this few little marks and then blend with your fingers don't leave it as strong and bold as this is because it's not going to work you see and I'm just very lightly dragging a few lines upwards as though they might be a bits of branches blend in but don't blend everything leave some little sharp edges here and there so it makes it work do you see the idea so you're gradually building up the tones it'll look brilliant when you're finished you see just keep bl blending by the way i've just noticed that little bit looks like a a bear's head doesn't it anyway not too early we're going to blend in a little bit more here look just keep going there yes you see oh it's gonna look good there we go a few little lines up and what i'm doing is i'm twiddling now twiddling is a artistic term it means i'm rolling believe that you believe anything i'm rolling the charcoal between my fingers and getting that sort of textured line 
you see? And then I'm blending a few other items above it. So it makes it look as though it might be trees in the background. Who knows? But these little shapes will all help to give the effect of dense foliage behind these main trees, you see? So we keep doing this. There we go. Look, blending across there, a few little lines and such like. We're not using the chalk yet because we need to do all the darker tones first. We'll put the chalk highlights on at a later date, a later stage. So a few more little lines here, look, and gradually we're getting that background to work. You see? There, just again twiddling with my finger. You can't really see it, but I'm just rolling the charcoal between my finger as I push upwards to create those branches then just a few little spots maybe blocks of leaves who knows you can keep blending and work from there okay we're coming to a little bit further forward now and i'm just putting again some rushes uh, grass rough grass that sort of thing along here but you'll notice i'm doing it very lightly same with the shading here i don't want to put on two darker tones it's all got to be kept quite light for the path because we're wanting to suggest distance in the drawing you see that's the idea so we put a few little other marks on here we might uh, sort of work on the tree now you see this twiddly bit there so you don't get a nice even line it's got a slightly rough edge to it you see it makes your tree look that little bit more interesting you see there you go twiddle the piece of graphite uh, uh, the charcoal again it makes it look so much better you see what we do leaving one side for the light so we imagine the light is coming from the right hand side can you see that so you've got the dark edge on the left hand side of the tree and it makes the tree stand out now you'll notice those trees because i'm pressing on a little darker this time and not shading and not blending it in should i say you'll notice that the trees are beginning to stand out from the background you see less is more don't overdo it that's the crucial thing so a few little grasses further forward here now and there, tiny little bit stronger, little taller and so on, you see? Now, as we come to the foreground area and we work on the main tree, now I'm pressing on. Again, twiddling, you notice my arm and hands rocking there. So I get that rough sort of edge. I'm leaving little spots of white there, pressing on quite hard. Your charcoal might break as a little bit's done there, you can see, just broken off. I'll blow that away in a minute. But there we go. Do you see the idea? We keep running up and down the tree with the charcoal, pressing on really dark. Now you'll notice now, because of the contrast of tone, how the tree is standing out from the background. This is what you want to create to make it look much more three-dimensional. See your tree? I'm just rolling the graphite, at the charcoal up and down very, very gently now. and pressing on a little bit more, shading some of the background to create an edge around the tree, which is really important. Put a few more little details in the background here. You can add as much as you like. I mean, it's entirely up to you what you do. But you can see how the drawing is beginning to develop. Now, we'll put the shadows on, and because we're working in the foreground now, we're pressing on really hard with the charcoal. That way, then, we can blend a few little bits, but we keep some sharp edges now, because the sharper the edge, the further forward it will look in the drawing. So we just keep working on this. You see, come down that edge there. Now, I don't want to draw an outline around the edge, so uh, uh, the tree. So I'm creating an edge by shading behind the tree, making that light area stand out. Now, we're going to come back to the, that main tree later. Now, you'll notice here, once we get into real foreground here, where the bulrushes or grasses or whatever they are on the edge of the water here they're going to be quite dark they're closer to us you notice now as i'm pressing on even more harder with the the graph uh, the charcoal you can see now how that's beginning to look in front of the area behind you see how it works and blend one or two little bits in but not everything just soften the edge along when it meets the water that's all keep working on it just flicking the, the graphite at uh, the i keep, see, I can't keep saying graphite the charcoal upwards all the time just to create that nice edge then we're going to 
put the shading into the water. Now remember, water, if you're shading water to make it look like water, do it horizontally, not vertically. So all the lines need to go horizontal and it'll make the drawing look so much better. Now we're going to blend some of these edges here. We don't want to create a nice neat edge for the reflection of the tree. It's got to look a little bit rough, you see. So you see how I'm just dragging the, gra the piece of charcoal across across the paper now just blocking in little areas so we can allow the reflections to show through do you see what I'm doing here there we go and I'll blend some of those and then blend them out do you see what I'm doing just to suggest the reflections you see charcoal's wonderful stuff to use you just got to get a piece of charcoal piece of gray paper that we're working on and then go for it that's what you've really got to do you notice now the water is beginning to develop it's beginning to look like real water and what we're going to do is just keep the graphite moving gently across the paper you see, just dragging a few bits, a few darker tones, sometimes a few little flicks, but everything goes horizontally. Blend some areas, leave other areas which have not blended. It's got to be subtle. That's the word, subtle. And make sure that you do your sketching horizontally. If you do it vertically, as I'm doing here, you can go over it then and do a little bit of blending with your fingers, you see, just to soften it down a little bit. That's all you need to do. OK, um, we'll just finish off a few more little bits with the charcoal before we move on to the um, uh, chalk now you'll notice here i'm putting the reflection of the tree in i don't want it too neat but again i'm making the lines go horizontal most important flick them out so it comes across the shape of the tree so you're suggesting the sh shape of the tree in the water you don't want it to look too definite too strong okay just suggest it Okay, that's what I'm beginning to do now. Just darken some of these areas in here and just blend it in. Now, we move to the um, chalk. Now, this is when the drawing starts to come to life because the main half tones are actually the colour of the grey paper. Um, the darker tones we've put on with the charcoal. We're now putting the highlights on with the chalk. And you can see how it makes this tree now come alive because we're beginning to put the highlights on. And again, roll the chalk in your fingers. Don't be too precise with it. Sometimes press on hard, sometimes don't. Just suggest, you see? These trees which are a little bit further back, we don't want quite such a strong tone on them. Just lightly do it. Again, we can twiddle. Here we're doing a few little twiddles again, but very, very light branches. So you've got some lighter ones as though they're catching the light. You see what effect it has? Looks really good. So we put a few little highlights on the path here. Look, just block it in. You can blend these in with your finger as well if you wish. OK, don't go overboard with, with the highlights because it look too much, but you just need to suggest some highlights here and there. And we'll need to put some into the water in, in a moment. But you can see some of the grasses here I'm highlighting as well, just to bring out the highlights on those grasses it'll look a lot better by doing that now again i'm just picking out little patches you remember water rippling we're just catching the ripples as they go through do you see just suggesting one or two little spots here where the it's catching the highlight and then we're just dragging the uh, chalk over those lights just very very lightly you see just oh nice and calm that's what you've got to do keep it nice and light so the drawing begins to develop now you've got to know when to stop here don't overdo it you see I'm just doing a few little lines now I'm coming to the end of the drawing we might have a few little touches here with the with the charcoal just to finish off just a few little darker ripples here and there just very very soft very very subtle that's all you need to do okay we're coming to the end of the drawing I hope you've enjoyed the sketch and maybe you've been able to work along with me using graphite and chalk together on grey paper works really really well and I hope your drawing has worked absolutely brilliantly I'm sure it has
Well, thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you have, could you please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the little bell as well. That's most important if you want to receive updates of everything I do. Also, if you want to support the making of these videos, then please check out my Patreon channel where you'll find lots of interesting rewards in return for your patronage. That will be wonderful. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!